So Fat Shark Pixel Screen of Death update. Everyone, this is an update that I did not want to bring you. In fact, this news actually um, was released a few hours ago. And I've just been debating on if I even wanted to say anything about it. But I figured I owed everyone who watched the last video an update as soon as possible. So Fat Shark has found a fix for the pixel screen of death bug, as well as the people whose DVRs were bricked by the original fix that was released as a firmware update that could be applied by the SD card. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the last Fat Chart Pixel Screen of Death video on the HDOs. So, um, Fat Chart released a statement today that says that a permanent fix for the peripheral pixel dithering issue that showed up in some of the first production HDOs has now been established. That is good news. However, to make the update, a certified repair center needs to disassemble the goggles, flash a new firmware, and verify the changes. To get the process started, simply email support at fatshark.com to create a ticket. Um, the post goes on to give you some additional details down below um so anybody that receives new hdos will not have to do this but unfortunately everyone who has these will so that begs the question even further which of these fat sharks do i want to keep the hdos or the hd3s um this is this is a hard thing to talk about um, I, I'm not sure if it, if my last video seemed critical of Fat Shark. I wasn't trying to be. I actually really appreciate what they're doing. We wouldn't have been able to expand racing in this hobby to the level that it exists today, or even the sporting, uh, especially the sporting component of it, without goggles like these. They are the best that are out there. Um, as a consumer, I'm very frustrated by this. I don't feel like I was super early adopter on this. I did not order my HDOs on launch day. I didn't even order them the first week. So I thought I would be safe um, once the reviews started coming in and people were just talking about like, oh, is the screen better? Things like that. No big bugs were reported at first. Um, these type of things didn't come out till a couple weeks later and I'm I'm not sure if people just didn't notice them or they were just so um awestruck by the beautiful colors that these things have. Now I just I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Um for the time being I do have both of these but um I can't afford to keep two pairs of goggles that cost um so much money each. One of these is gonna have to go. Both of them are relatively new. In fact I didn't even ever own a pair of fat sharks until about six weeks ago i've been running um the omway commanders for the last year and a few different ishin box goggles before that and so in that six weeks time i have had two pairs of hd2s hd3s and hdos that are in front of you because uh as i decided to kind of commit myself a little bit more towards this hobby and towards this channel I wanted to make sure I was working with the best um, equipment out there. So a lot of my stuff has been getting upgraded as of late. Um, as a consumer, I'm, I'm really frustrated by this. Um, I should not have to deal with this. If I did not have an extra set of goggles here, what would I do? Just not fly for the two, three, four weeks that this could take? Um, I reluctantly already emailed fat shark um requesting a ticket to have this process started but and that was probably six or seven hours ago i still haven't received a response as i'm sure they're getting hammered right now um but golly not everyone has two pairs of goggles like this and and i really i shouldn't i should have already sold one of these by now i'm tying up too much funds in this one of them has to go so do I just go back to the HD3s and be done with it? But if I do have to sell these HDOs, I have to disclose that they do suffer from this defect. Um, so that means that they're instantly 
gone down in value, which is not something that's characteristic of fat sharks. In fact, one of the reasons to pony up that extra cash for fat sharks is because they hold their value so well. Not so much in this case. So what to do? Are you guys going to fix your pixel screen of death? Um, I know Oscar Liang is going to have to because he is one of the people that applied that update that bricked his DVR. And that's something that no one can live without. So I really don't know what to do in this instance. Um, as an IT person in the industry, um, I feel bad for this company. They um, had to reach this decision to announce this um, fix where you're going to have to send in their goggles. They must have tried every possible fix prior to going with this decision. And it doesn't feel good when you have to do that, guys. Um, I feel bad for them. I, I, I really, really do. So everybody that does suffer from this problem that is going to have to go through this process, try to be patient from them trust that they are going to learn from this i know this is going to hurt their reputation i know this is going to potentially affect future launches that they have um, people wondering if this is going to be the case and this is a bad time for them to have this fiasco because there are multiple goggles companies that are you know really hot on their heels right now um working to catch up to fat shark and uh, this doesn't help so i do feel bad for them um, you know, I've been through uh, a really long planned upgrade myself that had to be delayed at the, at the last minute, literally less than 48 hours before the go live date, it was pushed back two weeks and I, it was an embarrassing, um, fact it wasn't to do with anything that my particular team was involved with, but still, um, as a, as somebody that works for a company you never want to have to go through that you never want your customers to have to go through that and so in that case though the delay ended up being the right decision because at the time i was very frustrated but that delay ended up something even worse happening which is an instance like this where customers were negatively affected by a product that was released so th they may learn from this um, i'm not sure if this is something they were aware of and just thought that it was going to be minimal um, people that were affected or if it just really crept up on them because they just skipped this particular set of instances and in testing i'm not sure but let's be patient with them guys they promise to make it right um from everything that i know about fat shark that is one of the best things about that company is that they stand by their products they fix any flaws with them so rest assured if you do have this problem they will have it fixed all of the new models should have this fixed um coming out as far as, far as i know any any models that are shipped after may 15th i believe uh will not have this bug so i don't know am i gonna fix it now am i gonna fix it later i'm gonna have to decide that I'm going to have to decide if I can be without a pair of goggles, if I'm going to downgrade. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I'll keep you guys posted. Post in the comments what you're going to do with your Pixel Screen of Death, Fat Shark HDOs. And let's just give them a chance to make this right, to fix it. They are the best in the business today. Um, I know they want to keep a hold of that advantage. So rest assured they are going to make this right. Um, thanks, guys.